How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Proton VPN and Nord VPN, and which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you and your situation. But at the end of the day, it depends on your specific needs. Now, if you guys are interested in in-depth reviews, you'll find these in the description down below for both VPNs, and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you're interested in just getting straight to those. Again, both VPNs are reputable VPNs that offer a range of features and capabilities, but what are you looking for out of your VPN at the end of the day? So if you're looking for a free service, well, the free package with Proton VPN is certainly the best in the business. You know, you've got no bandwidth limitations whatsoever, but obviously you're going to be limited in terms of speed and server count. As you can tell, most of these servers are almost at 100%. Some of them are at 100%. So in terms of speed, you're not going to be having such a great time. This is just meant for you to secure your device uh, without having to pay for it if you need to secure your device or bypass specific geo restrictions uh, in your country. You can connect to any of these three locations and that's all you've got. Now, you don't have access to port forwarding on the free version or secure core and secure core is going to give you better security uh, similar to double VPN. It's almost as if it's routing your connection through two servers instead of one for double the encryption or for more encryption. And also the ad blocker won't be available uh, on the free version, but you do have access to the kill switch and you have, if we go to the settings right here, you still have access to split tunneling, which is very nice. Uh, and all the other features such as switching um, protocols right here. You can go with WireGuard and that's definitely going to be the best performing one. And you have custom DNS so you can set your own DNS, which is a very good uh, feature if that's something you're looking for. And as you can tell, you have this uh, very sleek interface I do like the map design right here. It's less clunky than NordVPN, as you can tell. When I go ahead and just zoom in with uh, the uh, map right here, it's a little bit clunky. I'm not really a big fan of the user experience right here with NordVPN, if I have to be honest. I do like the user experience with the um, Proton VPN map design. I feel like it's much smoother. I can just point the uh, mouse right here and zoom in and it will zoom in very accurately. Whereas let's say if I go ahead and just aim right here and try to zoom in, it will zoom in, but not very accurately. It's a bit clunky, honestly. But in terms of uh, performance, reliability, uh, speed, and just everything in general, honestly, NordVPN does it better. I mean, you do have split tunneling at the kill switch with Proton VPN, and they are available in NordVPN as well. But with NordVPN, you get much more. I mean, if you're going to go for the premium version of Proton VPN, yes, it's a pretty good service. Yes, it's pretty quick. You get all these extra security features, uh, such as the ad blocker, secure core for more security, uh, port forwarding, which is not available in NordVPN, if that's something you're interested in. And if we go to the settings right here, again, you've got the kill switch and split tunneling and custom DNS. Uh, now, with NordVPN, you do get all of these features plus a whole bunch of bonus features, but being about $2 cheaper than Proton VPN, I think NordVPN is much more valuable. So you're getting a whole lot of value uh, for a cheaper price, and you're able to unblock all kinds of streaming services very efficiently and very effectively. Now with Proton VPN, you have almost 2000 servers, about 1800 servers in 67 countries. Whereas with NordVPN, you have over 5,300 servers in 59 countries. Uh, so that's an eight country difference, but I don't think that's a big deal, honestly, unless there's a specific country that you're looking for and Proton VPN has it and NordVPN doesn't. I think NordVPN is overall a much more well-rounded value option. Now, both VPNs will be able to unblock streaming services and they allow for peer-to-peer -peer activities and they have Tor over VPN servers for Tor users. And as I mentioned earlier, they both have the kill switch and split tunneling. And that's what these VPNs have in common. But what you get extra with NordVPN is first of all, the ad blocking ability right here called threat protection will also block uh, ads and malware, but it will also act as a bit of a, an antivirus right here as it will protect your device from infected files before they download to your device. And you have MeshNet, which is pretty much encrypted remote access, and you'll be able to also 
host virtual LAN parties over the encrypted network of NordVPN. Plus, you'll be able to safely share files. You also have Dark Web Monitor, which will keep an eye out for leaked data linked to your email address, passwords, contacts, or other personal details. If you go to the settings, we have the best performing protocol, which will be Nord Lynx, making NordVPN arguably the best and fastest VPN in the business. You also have custom DNS, similar to Proton VPN. And if we go back to the settings, you also have kill switch and split tunneling. Now, not only do you get a kill switch, you also get an app kill switch, which will disconnect or close selected applications rather than disconnecting or closing your entire connection as it is with the conventional kill switch. And if you don't know what a kill switch is, it will simply disable your internet connection when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Both VPNs allow for simultaneous connections. You've got Proton VPN. Uh, which will allow you to secure up to 10 devices per subscription. And you've got NordVPN, which will allow you to secure up to six devices per subscription. Again, at the end of the day, it really depends on what you're looking for, a free VPN. I think Proton VPN is just uh, probably the best VPN out there for a free package. It's very safe. Uh, they're both independently audited, by the way. So they have evidence that they do uphold the no logs policy, which they claim both VPNs right here. But NordVPN has had more independent audits. And in terms of overall reliability and unblocking geo restrictions that have to do with streaming services, NordVPN, in my experience, was simply much more efficient and reliable and consistent. So that's pretty much it for this video. Overall, if you're looking for a free VPN, I recommend Proton VPN. If you want to go with the premium package of Proton VPN, you can get the same, but a much better service overall, um, considering you can, well, put up with the clunky map design. You can just use the list right here or just search whatever country you're looking for. You should go with NordVPN because it's a much more well-rounded value option that offers a whole bunch of features uh, for nearly half the price of Proton VPN. And that's it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, you'll find the reviews and links to pricing discounts in the description down below. They're both covered by 30 day money back guarantee either way. So you have plenty of time to test these out uh, before you commit to them in the long term. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.